advertisement the United Service Organization, the military support organization better known as the USO, is celebrating its 80th anniversary this year. Even as it adjusts its morale-boosting programming amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the nonprofit was founded in 1941 when six civilian organizations pooled their resources to entertain the troops during Bob Hope performances became a staple, and since then the organization has grown and evolved into an unwavering source of support for deployed servicemen. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow Follow and Yell get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notification. We are honored to have such a rich history serving America's military community. D. Crouch 2, the USO CEO and President, said in a statement obtained by People. The sacrifice of service members and their families requires that we rise to the challenges we have done for the past 80 years and will continue to do for every day, according to a press release from the USO. 40 million Americans have been served by the USO in some fashion. entertainment to care packages. Last month, the USO helped feed National Guard troops stationed in Washington, D.C., for Joe Biden's inauguration. During the pandemic, it has hosted Zoom performances and even virtual baby showers for service members and their family. To commemorate its 80th anniversary, the USO named singer Kelly Pickler and actor Wilmer Valderrama as global ambassadors. Both are USO tour veterans. Pickler's first USO tour was to Iraq in 2007 and she has since gone on 12 tours. Valderrama went to Germany in 2007 for his first USO tour and has since gone on 8. Pickler said in a USO release that being a global ambassador enables her to help shine a light on something that matters, which is letting troops know we don't take them. Valderrama said, Touring with the USO has been one of the proudest moments of my career because it has given me the chance to pay my respect and personally express my gratitude to our servicemen and women.